The world celebrates Global Entrepreneurship Week 2012 with the theme, Pass It On. The significance of the week is to recognize growing ambition for enterprises and ensuring that those with ideas know where to get the support they need to make them a reality. Guyana Youth Business Trust, an organization which assists and develops entrepreneurs amongst youths, has embraced the theme and hosted a special ceremony titled, The Arts of Business. Global Entrepreneurship Week is the world's largest celebration in, for innovators and job creators who launch startups. And these startups are aimed at bringing ideas to life, driving economic growth, and expanding human welfare. During the week in November, GW inspires people everywhere through local, national, and global activities designed to help them explore their potential as self-starters and innovators. A highlight of the ceremony was a panel discussion by two young self-starters and also innovators, Lexton Williams, proprietor of LWS Designs, and Steve Douglas, proprietor of Bravo Arts. These two young men shared how they started their businesses and reasons for their successes. I started Bravo Arts in 2009, but prior to 2009, I was doing face painting. Mind you, I was never, I don't think I was born to be an artist, let's say. Um, back in high school, I had no interest in art at all. I couldn't even draw to save my life, um, seriously, yeah. <laughs> but um, what I find is that I, from, since I know myself, that I'm a creative person. When, when I started getting serious about Bravo Arts, I thought, you know, you know, you need to kind of sharpen up your skills, so I attended Burroughs for one year. Steve said even though face and body painting is not very popular in Guyana as a business, he has been able to attract many prominent companies which now hire his services to assist in marketing their businesses. When I started my business, it wasn't really about creating. It was just about getting money. So in school, what I would do, I would get, um, I had a wallet. I never wanted to get old. So what I do is take, I, I go by the street on Regent Street and like ask for half year letter, letter it. And I would cover over this old wallet that I never wanted to get, you know, old. So, but after covering it over for a couple of times, <laughs> the ends were raveled and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything with it, so I took the same material, look at that one, I keep, and I made one. And I was showing that off in school and stuff, and you know, everybody wanted one. And then we started doing, I started doing pencil cases with uh, your names in it. You now we make, we sew these by hand, and then you just cut out the name and paste it on. So most of the children still wanted to get one, so I just sell it for like 260. Just, there was a whole lot of money. <laughs> Lexton said his relatives and friends tried to lead him in various directions. However, he noted that he wanted to have his own business, but a major challenge for him was that he lacked the necessary skills. He completed a management course at iPad and used the skills garnered to start his business, but his focus was still primarily on making money. As an artist, no. Um, it, it's more than just getting money, it's a business and trying to strike a balance between being an artist and, and uh, an entrepreneur, right? It's a tough, tough situation because sometimes you can make a product and you don't, you don't know how to sell it. And that's, that can be detrimental to you as well. Um, but the products that I produce is mainly like wallets and lit bags in some designs that are out of this world. <laughs> I am, um, they are one of a kind. Executive Director Ramesh Prasad of GYBT shared how entrepreneurship can benefit the art industry. He noted their aim at Guyana Youth Business Trust is to pass on the knowledge to entrepreneurs which will enable them to have viable art businesses in Guyana. History continues to be riddled with how owners of good art benefit more than the artists or the creators themselves and how much their work is valued only long after they have moved on from this mortal state. 
It is not my intention to justify that material wealth is necessary for the artist to be successful. However, my proposition today is that if artists contribute so much to the imagination and comfort of society, then it is only fair that they also enjoy a decent living from their creativity. He added that artists can follow basic steps in order to reach their goals as profitable entrepreneurs, such as create great work, know the market and target audience, develop a business plan, create opportunities for people to view your work and make it easy for persons to contact you. Guyana Youth Business Trust's objective is to encourage youth business by providing affordable access to startup assistance. Therefore, young people between the ages of 18 to 35 who are unemployed or underemployed can be eligible for loans to start a business, whether in the art industry or other fields.